All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So even though there are technically still four to five days remaining in the sixth anniversary, I think in the minds of a lot of people, it's basically over, right? Since we're not getting any more events or any new units. And at this point, it's kind of time for us to move on and look forward to whatever's coming next. And as such, in today's video, I want to give you guys a quick breakdown of all of the upcoming banners and units that us global players can expect to see over the next, I would say, four to six months, basically before the end of the year. And uh, hopefully this video can also help you guys decide the best way to budget your stones, like which banners you want to save for and which ones you might want to skip. So yeah, with all that said, let's jump right into it. Oh, by the way, I'm not going to be presenting these in any particular order because we don't know exactly when they're going to be dropping on global we just know that they're all coming relatively soon so definitely keep that in mind but uh yeah we're starting here with the dokkan fest str Bedell banner which i think most people would agree is likely going to be global's next banner and that means she will be dropping you know in like four to five days after the anniversary is over and uh, taking a quick look here at the featured units We've got two new units, the STR Videl, of course, as well as the Tech Goten. And for the rest of the SSRs here, uh, they're not bad. They're not bad. We got the STR Bojack, who's really good. The Tech Ultimate Gohan is still one of the best units in the game, especially in longer events. And uh, the Trunks and Zamasu, even though they're relatively old now, the Trunks can still be very useful. And uh, the Zomasu, I mean, he still hits really hard. And this Goku Black here, he's probably the only one who I wish could be replaced. Because in my opinion, he's not very good. He's probably one of the worst no Confess units in the game right now. And that's not to say he's completely useless. He's just not particularly good. So uh, yeah, aside from him, I would say the banner is solid overall. And if I were to give it a rating, it probably gets a 7 out of 10 for me. So pretty average, but the Medell is exceptional. Like, she's really, really good, guys. So popping over to her details here. Um, her leader skill is Defender of Justice or Peppy Gals Category Key Plus 4. HP, Attack, and Defense plus 170%. So by far, the best Peppy Gals lead in the game. And then her regular super attack raises attack, raises defense for one turn, and causes immense damage. And then she also has a unit super attack, which greatly raises attack, causes, or sorry, raises defense for one turn, causes immense damage, and greatly lowers defense. And this can be activated when there is an ally whose name includes Gohan Teen, Ultimate Gohan, Majin Buu excluded, or Great Saiyan Man, Great Saiyan Man other than Gohan excluded on the team. And her passive is attack and defense plus 158%, high chance of evading enemies attacks, including super attacks, until the character attacks. So essentially, you know, if she's in the first slot, before she attacks, she launches a super, she has a 50% chance to dodge, plus an additional attack plus 58% when attacking, and then attacks effective against all types within the same turn after evading an attack, plus an additional attack plus 58% within the same turn after receiving an attack, launches an additional super attack as the first or second attacker in a turn, plus an additional attack plus 58%, and high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, as the third attacker in a turn. So I know that was a lot to take in, right? There's a lot going on, but essentially she gets a ton of attack on her passive, she has attacks effective against all, she has the chance to dodge, she has the additional supers at the first or second attacker, and she's just awesome, man. She is definitely one of, if not still, the best TUR in the game right now. And her active skill is attack plus 20% and defense minus 20% for the rest of the battle. And it can be activated when there's an ally whose name includes Gohan Teen, Ultimate Gohan, Majin Buu excluded, or Great Saiyan Man. Great Saiyan Man other than Gohan excluded on the team starting from the fourth turn from start of battle once only. And the really cool thing about this unit is that once you use the active skill, she actually 
changes into the short hair of Adele for the rest of the uh, event. And taking a look at some calculations here, her additional boost of attack plus 58% when attacking and after receiving an attack are calculated separately for a maximum possible boost of attack plus 457.28% as the first attacker in a turn and attack plus 399.28% as the third attacker in a turn. And uh, her links are Courage, Money Money Money, Cold Judgment, Infighter, Champion Strength, Battlefield Diva, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Peppy Gals, Majibu Saga, Earthlings, and Defenders of Justice. Okay, so, Videl, um, insane. <laughs> she, as I said, man, one of the best TRs in the game. And it seems strange because Videl, obviously, as a character in the, in the franchise, is not particularly strong like for a human she is but overall you know there are much more powerful characters but i think the reason they made this unit so broken is because they probably thought that nobody would summon for her unless she was right so uh in that sense i think it does make a lot of sense and yeah that's videl for you now quickly looking over the kid goten here Leader skill is Gifted Warriors, Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 120%, Super Attack, Raise the Attack for 1 turn, causes Supreme Damage, and then Passive is Attack and Defense plus 150%, plus an additional Attack and Defense plus 10%, with each attack performed, up to 50%, Gifted Warriors, Category Allies, Key plus 3, and Attack and Defense plus 40%, and Links are the Innocent, Saiyan Warrior Ray, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, uh, Kamehameha, Budding Warrior, and Fierce Battle, and some calculations, his additional attack and defense plus 10% with each attack performed is calculated separately for a total boost of attack and defense plus 335% after 5 attacks. So a great side unit right there and that is going to be, I, like I said, most likely, we don't know for sure, but most likely the next banner for global after the anniversary. Now from there we have the uh, Int Kid Gohan Dokkan Fest. Or sorry, AGL, my bad. AGL Kid Gohan, the Garlic Jr. is int. And uh, he is probably going to be the Dokkan Fest after Videl's Dokkan Fest. But in between there, there's going to be a special celebration, which a lot of people are looking forward to. The worldwide celebration at the end of August, which happens every year on both Global and JP. And at this point, we don't know what's coming. Like, we don't know for sure, right? There's speculation out there that it could be... You know, a Cell Saga theme celebration with obviously two Dual Dokkan Fest LRs. It could be maybe a GT theme celebration. That was the prevalent or the most popular rumor a while back, but right now uh, people just aren't sure. So I'm not really going to speculate too much in this video. All I'm going to say is there's going to be that worldwide celebration. It's going to last for about a month between the end of August and the end of September. So. Yeah, look forward to that. It's going to be awesome. The units are going to be amazing. We know that for sure because they always are. Most likely actually better than the anniversary, like a 6th anniversary LRs. So uh, yeah, that's happening. But after that, we'll be getting you know stuff like this as well as the other banners. Okay, so taking a look at the Kid Gohan banner, we got two new units, the Gohan as well as our first Garlic Jr. in the game, something that people have been asking for. For a very long time and uh in terms of the other featured ssrs we got some good stuff man super saiyan 4 gogeta of course is still top tier uh this guy can be really useful on some of the harder events um i don't think he's really yeah i don't think he's in the top 10 of turs anymore but he's still a really really solid unit and uh, piccolo kind of old but i mean his ability to see super attacks and as a tank for longer events still can be useful. Uh, this guy, I think pretty underrated. Uh, good damage, good defense, great support for androids. And then of course, Turles, still one of the best supports in the game. He just needs a uh, easy A to get some defense. But I think I would probably rate this banner about the same as Videl's, you know, like a seven, 6.57. It might be slightly worse. Uh, that's about the same. Okay, seven out of 10. 7 out of 10. Now, checking out the Gohan here, leader skill is heavily advanced. Category K plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%, or 
Bond of Master and Disciple category key plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 150%. Super Attack raises defense and causes immense damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And then he also has a Unit Super Attack, which raises defense, greatly raises attack for one turn, and causes immense damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. And this can be activated when there's an ally whose name includes Piccolo, Demon King, Piccolo, and Majin Buu excluded, or Krillin, Youth excluded on the team. And passive is defense plus 158%, attack plus 158% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack and defense plus 58% when there is another heavenly events category ally attacking on the same turn, plus an additional attack plus 58% and stuns the attacked enemy when performing a super attack after receiving attack, and then all allies key plus 3 and defense plus 58%. Active skill recovers 30% uh, HP, guards all attacks for one turn, and all allies defense plus 20% for two turns. Very unique active skill. He, uh, it's definitely a defensive one, right? Like recovering HP, guarding against attacks, and also giving allies some additional defense for two turns. So I like it a lot, man. Even though it's not like, uh, you know, big numbers, like you're going to see some crazy attacks that... I think this is actually better because obviously defense is becoming more and more valuable in this game, right? And then it can be activated when HP is 58% or less, once only, not too bad. And links are innocence, demonic ways, Saiyan warrior race, on the family, Saiyan lineage, gates of respect, and fierce battle. And categories are hybrid Saiyans, Goku's family, youth, bond of master and disciple, planetary destruction, and heavenly events. Just like the Videl, his attack is calculated separately, or his additional attack is calculated separately at the start of the turn for a total boost of attack plus 307.64% when there is another heavenly event category ally in the same turn and attack plus 399.28% after being attacked. So a pretty significant attack boost, not as passive, some really good defense, some good support, um, just a great unit man, really really great no confess unit here and I'm not going to say too much more because we do have a few quite a few other units to get through, so let's pop over to this Garlic Jr. here. Leader skill is Heavenly Event, category Q plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%. Super attack greatly raises attack and causes supreme damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 160% plus an additional attack and defense plus 60% and medium chance of stunning, of stunning the attacked enemy when attacking super class enemies. And then extreme class allies, key plus 3, attack and defense plus 40%, and recovers 10% HP at the end of the turn in which an attack was received. Okay, so he's also pretty insane, man. Uh, <laughs> for a side unit, for a non doka best unit, I mean, extreme class, key plus 3, attack and defense plus 40%, and then receiving or recovering 10% HP after taking a hit, and also getting this massive, massive boost. Or attack and defense too. He has uh, demonic ways, metamorphosis, big bad bosses, revival, thirst for conquest, nightmare, and fierce battle as his links. And uh, yeah, Garlic Jr. is really good, really really good. I mean, he's not the Dokkan Fest Garlic Jr. that some people are hoping for, but honestly, he's borderline as good as. I mean, he's actually better than a lot of older Dokkan Fest, and if he had better stats, he would be. Good enough to be a Dokkan Fest, you know? So I think they did do Garlic Jr. justice, even though they made us wait for a long time. And I'm sure in the future, we will be getting an updated one that's Dokkan Fest or maybe an LR Garlic Jr. or something like that, right? So there you go. Now moving on to the next banner here, which is a legendary summon for the LR Goku and Piccolo duo. And uh, yeah, they are the only new unit on the banner. Aside from that, we have a bunch of Gokus, a couple of Piccolos, um, you know, some some decent units, but nothing too exciting, honestly. Uh, as always, with these legendary summon banners, they're not great value for your stones. So I'm gonna say it right now: um, only summon if you really, really want the Gohan, or sorry, the Goku and Piccolo. And popping over to their details here: leader skill is Savior's category key plus four. HP attack and defense plus 130% or int types key plus 4. HP attack and defense plus 100%. Super attack 12 key raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage, 
and lowers defense. And then the 18 key super raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, and lowers attack and defense. And then their passive is attack and defense plus 120%. When performing a super attack, high chance of launching up to two additional attacks, plus an additional key plus one, up to six, and attack and defense plus 10%, up to 59%. With each attack performed, launches an additional super attack when HP is 59% or less after performing six or more attacks in battle. And their active skill is key plus six, attack and defense plus 59% for one turn. It can be activated when HP is 59% or more after performing six or more attacks in battle once only. And their links are infighter, shocking speed, tough as nails, experienced fighters, solid support, fierce battle, and legendary power. And categories are full power, joint forces, movie heroes, and saviors. And their active skill is calculated separately for a total boost of attack and defense plus 343.61%. And uh, after you use the active skill, they lose some of their clothes and uh, change their art for the rest of the battle. So that's why these guys have been dubbed uh, by myself and some other people in the community as Stripper Goku and Piccolo for this reason right here. So there you have it, LR, Goku, and Piccolo. And after that, we have the very exciting, the highly coveted, I guess, I don't know what the right word is, but either way, people are hyped for this. The thank you celebration slash Tanabata celebration, Tech LR Gogeta banner. And that's gonna be mostly drop, most likely dropping, uh, I would say at the end of November, because I think that's when the thank you celebrations always happen. Correct me if I'm wrong, it might be beginning of December, but sometime in that range. Okay, end of November, beginning of December is when we can expect to see this banner. And of course, we got the new Goku and Vegeta that fused into Gogeta, and also the uh, uh, AGL Gotenks. For a second, I was like, what type is this? AGL, AGL Gotenks. And for the rest of the banner, we got two Dokkan Fest LRs, and uh, then we have the Fizz, Goten, and Trunks. And we also have the uh, Int Gotenks, the AGL Pycon, Tex and Emba, eh, uh, AGL, Gogeta, Int Gogeta. And in total, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 featured SSRs, because of course, this is a Dual Confest LR banner, which means that they usually feature a few more units, just so I guess it's harder to pull the LR. But I mean, there's a lot of great units here, man. Of course, the Gogeta, of course, the Blue Boys, of course, the Gobros. These kids are still extremely, extremely impressive. And, um, you know, Pycon's really useful. The Gotenks can be... He hits really hard, at the very least. And then uh, Janemba, you know, even though we trash on him a lot, his, his tanking is actually really, really good. This banner, I would say, deserves a... 8.5. If a dual Dokkan Fest for an anniversary is a 10, I can't give this a 10, right? But... I think an 8.5 is the correct rating. So yeah, from there we have the details for the Goku and Vegeta. Leader skill is Time Limit or Connected Hope, category Q plus 3, HP plus 130%, and attack and defense plus 170%. Super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. And then Ultra Super or 18 key super raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. And then passive is attack and defense plus 120%, reduces damage received by 30%, high chance of randomly changing key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres, and then key plus two in addition per rainbow key sphere obtained, medium chance of launching an additional super attack. Active skill, fusion performs fusion dance, can be activated when HP is 70% or more, starting from the fourth turn from start of battle, once only. And links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Experienced Fighter, Saiyan Lineage, Shocking Speed, Prepare for battle, fierce battle, and legendary power. And categories are fusion, pure Saiyans, join forces, movie heroes, super Saiyans, Kamehameha, other world warriors, final trump card, connected hope, powerful comeback, and time limit. So now let's pop over to the Super Gogeta. And he has uh, obviously different super attacks and a different passive. So 12 key super raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage. And then the 18 key super raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, and lowers attack and defense. 
and then passive is recovers 30% HP once only, attack and defense plus 50%, or rather 150%, attacks effective against all types, great chance of performing a critical hit, and then randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres, key plus 2 in addition per rainbow key sphere obtained, key plus 5 reduces damage received by 30%, and foresees enemy super attacks for 5 turns from start of turn, and nullifies enemy super attack, or sorry, nullifies enemy's melee super attack within the same turn after performing an ultra super attack on that enemy. So, um, yeah, there's a lot going on here, but you know, it's very similar actually, or kind of rem reminiscent of the STR Vegito. I'm not saying he's exactly like the Vegito, just saying, you know, there's some similarities here, right? Attack and defense plus 150%, and attacks effective against all types. Uh, the foreseeing of super attacks is very similar to the uh, Vegito, and he also gets damage reduction, he gets extra key, and this part is really unique because we've never seen it before, before this guy came out. So basically when you're performing an ultra super attack, then you can actually cancel out any melee type super attacks from the enemy. So it's just really cool, man. You know, it's, it's really cool. It can also save your butt and it's also a dope animation. So yeah, this Gogeta is awesome. He's really good in terms of like, whether he's better or worse than the STR Vegito, I would say they're different, but I think the counters still probably put Vegito over the top. Um, I would say STR Vegito probably is still better. Not by a ton, but I would say Vegito is better. But I'm a Gogeta fanboy, so I like Gogeta better than the Vegito, so there's that. And uh, links are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Fuse Fighter, Kamehameha, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power. And that's all there is to it, man. That is the Godita for you. Uh, definitely a unit that I'm saving up for. Definitely a unit that I'm going very, very deep for. And I can't wait for him, man. And uh, we are also going to talk about the Super Saiyan Go tanks. Uh, leader skill is Time Limit, Category Key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 120%, super attack raises defense for one turn, it causes supreme damage to all enemies with a uh, medium chance of stunning them, and then passive is attack and defense plus 120%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 70%, and high chance of performing a critical hit when facing only one enemy, launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack when facing two or more enemies, and then time limit category allies key plus 3, attack and defense plus 40%. Links are the Innocents, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, Prepare for Battle, Fuse Fighter, and Fierce Battle, and categories are Fusion, Arbor Saiyans, Movie Heroes, Youth, Super Saiyans, Special Pose, Gifted Warriors, and Time Limit. Um, so yeah, that's the Gotenks. I love the art by the way, man. <laughs> Great art for Gotenks. And yeah, you know, like, as I keep saying, like these side units just keep getting better and better, and this guy's no exception. So if you guys, you know, pull him instead of the Gogeta, obviously still sad you didn't get the Gogeta, but a great new addition to your collection for sure. And uh, before we jump over to the next unit, I do want to remind people that there is going to be this Tanabata banner that's going to be dropping about a week after the main Gogeta banner comes out, and just like every year. There's going to be the Gogeta or the new LR for the thank you celebration as well as the return of the five or six year anniversary LRs. And uh, on top of that, there's going to be the new Go Tanks, there's going to be the Blue Boys and also the LR Go Bros and also a bunch of other Dokkan Fest units which are mostly good for people that didn't get the anniversary LRs the first time around. This is your chance to either pull them here or potentially buy them with coins in the Baba shop, so definitely don't forget about this. But now, we have the next new unit, which is going to be the Fizz LR Janemba, who's going to be coming out after Gogeta, so I guess mid-December or something like that. And uh, he is going to be on his own legendary summon banner. Um, really rough banner. <laughs> Honestly, really rough banner. We got the new Janemba and then couple of other random SSRs, some of them are good, some of them are bad, um, but it's just a bad banner, man. I mean, I'd give this like a 4 out of 10, honestly, maybe even 3. It's just bad. 
Uh, but taking a look at the Janemba, now this guy, I gotta say, man, he has one of the best effects. Maybe, the, no, he has the best card art, actually. The best artwork in the entire game in terms of, like, the effect. It just looks so sweet. <laughs> like, this is like a super attack animation in its own, right? The card art is like a super attack animation. Um, the first time I saw it, it took me by surprise. I was like, I did not expect this because the image they posted on Twitter was just this right here, right? It was just this. And I was like, that's kind of lame. It doesn't look great, but I didn't realize it had this crazy effect going. So yeah, shout out to Akatsuki, I guess, for the card art for Janemba. Like this alone makes me want to summon for the unit, even though we never really get to see it in game unless you're just like staring at his art but still man that's just awesome that's awesome okay leader skill corroded body and mind or movie bosses keep plus four hp attack and defense plus 150 percent super attack colossal damage and lowers defense ultra super colossal damage or mega colossal damage and greatly lowers defense and then passive is attack and defense plus 120 percent guards all attacks as the first or second attacker in a turn plus an additional key plus two up to six and attack defense plus 22 percent up to 66 percent with each attack performed as the second or third attacker in a turn and high chance of nullifying enemies key blast super attacks so kind of the other side to gogeta where he's nullifying melee super attacks this guy has a 50 percent chance to cancel out all key blast super attacks and then his active skill is a rage mode which can be activated when hp is 66 percent or more starting from the sixth turn from start of battle once only and his links are big bad bosses shocking speed metamorphosis brutal beatdown fear and faith fierce battle and legendary power and categories are movie bosses transformation boost exploding rage and corroded body and mind and his additional attack and defense plus 22 percent with each attack performed is calculated separately for a total boost of attack and defense plus 265.2% after three attacks as the second or third attacker in a turn. And uh, for his rage mode here, uh, very similar to any other rage mode where you are you know, immortal, you can't take any damage while in this state. And his 12k super attack causes destructive damage with a high chance of performing a critical hit and then his 18k super, destructive damage, and high chance of performing a critical hit. And then his passive receives an additional key plus one per key sphere obtained. And just like the, you know, unrage mode, I guess. Uh, amazing art, man. Amazing effect. We got the slash going and then the fire. It's awesome. Like, he is, he is one of the cleanest looking cards in the game by far, right? And uh, lastly, we have one more banner here before we get out of here. It's the STR Super Vegeta banner. And before this guy came out, before we saw his details, I thought that, you know, Tech Gogeta would be the unit that I was looking forward to most. But when this guy came out, man, when this guy's animations dropped, that kind of changed because he's now become my most wanted unit in the entire game. No question. I mean, unless the Dual Dokkan Fest for the Worldwide Celebration is really good, which it probably will be. But for now, of the units we know about, I actually want this guy the most. He's that good. So for the banner, we have two new units, the STR Super Vegeta, as well as the uh, new second form Cell. And the banner looks pretty good too, man. We got the Bojack. We got the return of the Saiyan Day Broly. And then Fizz Beerus. Tech transforming Vegeta, Fizz transforming Vegeta, and that's it. So, um, you know, like these guys are kind of iffy, especially the two Vegetas. I'm not really feeling, but Beerus is still great. He obviously is still good, really good, like I said. And this Broly man is a monster, and he hasn't come back since Saiyan Day. So, if this is his first return, that definitely elevates the value of the of the banner so i would probably give it like a 7.5 out of 10 you know slightly higher not by a lot but slightly better than the videl and gohan banners i would say you know what actually because of vegeta i'm gonna give it an eight okay vegeta's presence alone this vegeta's presence alone deserves an eight so there you go eight out of ten and let's talk about this vegeta man 
Leader skill, attained evolution or pure sand. Category Q plus 3, HP plus 130%, attack and defense plus 170%, super attack, final flash, immense damage, and performs a critical hit for one turn. Guaranteed critical hits. I mean, it's kind of weird that he's SDR because, you know, you get five free additional, or sorry, five free crit in the hidden potential system, which is just useless because his super attack gives him guaranteed criticals, so that kind of sucks, but uh, it's nitpicking, obviously, because he's amazing. Uh, passive is attack and defense plus 150%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% within the same turn. After receiving an attack, stuns the attacked enemy when performing a super attack. Guaranteed stuns, guaranteed crits. Active skill, key plus 5, attack and defense, or sorry, just attack plus 50% for one turn, and it can be activated when HP is 50% or more, starting from the 5th turn from start of battle, or when there's an enemy whose name includes Cell, Cell Jr. excluded, after the character receives attack one or more times in battle once only. Links are Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Prodigies, Saiyan Pride, Golden Warrior, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle, and categories are Pure Saiyans, Full Power, Vegeta's Family, Super Saiyans, Worthy Rivals, Android slash Cell Saga, Rapid Growth, Gifted Warriors, Heavenly Events, and Attained Evolution. And some details here about his additional boosts. His additional attack and defense plus 50% boosts are calculated separately for a total boost of attack and defense plus 275% when performing a super attack, and then attack and defense plus 400% after receiving an attack. And then his active skill is also calculated separately for a total boost of attack plus 462. 0.5% when performing a super attack, and attack plus 650% after receiving an attack. So, uh, dude, his... He is just... I mean, what were they thinking with this unit? Like, guaranteed crits is just... I mean, it feels like it's a little bit too soon for that, but I guess it's not, because he has it, and, um, you know, great active skill, good links, good categories, uh... I want this guy really bad, man. <laughs> I want this guy really bad. I want Gogeta a lot. I want this guy even more. And a big part of it are the animations. I mean, I'm not going to show them here, but for those of you that have seen them, uh, his animations have got to be top three in the game for me. And I think the only units that could beat them would be the str lr gogeta and the tech lr gogeta and that's even debatable man i mean i might like his animations even a little bit more than the tech gogeta i'm not sure i'm not sure but the point is i gotta have him i gotta have this guy and uh, we have the second form cell here which is the side unit for the banner leader skill is android slash cell saga key plus three hp attack and defense plus 130 percent super attack Greatly raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage. And passive is defense plus 80% plus an additional attack and defense plus 180% when performing a super attack. Chance of performing a critical hit plus 18% and reduces damage received by 18% when there is an android slash cell saga category enemy. And high chance of stunning all enemies when there is an enemy whose name includes android. And then android slash cell saga category extreme class allies. Key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 40 percent links messenger from the future big bad bosses attack of the clones wall standing tall nightmare brutal beatdown and fierce battle and categories are androids transformation boost time travelers artificial life forms android slash cell saga target goku and power absorption and uh, his additional attack and defense plus 180 percent is calculated separately for a total boost of attack plus 292 percent and defense plus 516% when performing a super attack. This almost looks wrong. I mean, I'm sure it's not, but that that just seems like a lot of defense. Is, is it really that high? Does it really get that high? I don't, I don't understand how this calculation works, but that seems crazy to me. I mean, if this is inaccurate, it's probably not too far off. And that is the second form cell for you. Another fantastic non Dokkan Fest side unit. And that is gonna do it for today's video, guys. These are all of the units that we currently know about. 
on the JP side that haven't released on global yet that us global players can look forward to over, as I said, the next probably four to six months. And of course, we still have the Worldwide Celebration. Um, so that's going to be another, I guess, four new LRs, right? Or three. I think it's usually two new LRs for part one and then one for part two, if I remember correctly. So at least three other LRs that we're not aware of. But for now, these are the ones that we know about. And uh, I would say the two I'm definitely the most excited for would be the Vegeta and also the Gogeta. I'm excited for Videl too, honestly. Like, I'm probably going to drop at least 1,000 to 1,500 stones for her. So hopefully we get her as well. But uh, that is today's video, guys. Let me know in the comments down below which of these units you're the most hyped for, which ones are you going to be spending the most stones for, and which ones are for sure skips for you. I mean, easy skips, I think for most people, should be the uh, Legendary Summon Banners, right? The Goku and Piccolo one, and also the Janemba one. Both LRs are really good. The Banners, though, not so much. Not so much. So, I would skip those. But uh, outside of that, man, we got a lot of great units on the way. A lot of stuff to look forward to over the next few months. And uh, yeah, that's going to be today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you found this video helpful in some way. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.